Hi guys, it's Bretta here from runforfit.com. Today I'm going to be talking about going by your intuition to learn forefoot running better. In running, we are so used to over controlling our biomechanics, but when it comes to learning forefoot running, a more optimistic approach is to avoid controlling too many degrees of freedom of your technique. And what I mean by that is many forefoot running learners fall into the habit of rigorously dictating their biomechanics during running. And in this case, though forefoot running does lower the metabolic cost of running, over controlling isolated movements simultaneously prevents you from reaping the full benefits of forefoot running. Basically over controlling too many aspects of your forefoot running technique while you are running reduces efficiency. Instead, what you should focus on when you're learning forefoot running is to essentially develop the intuition for how to run with more relaxation, which in turn will eventually reduce the mechanical cost of running. So you want to tap more into your intuition and that way you'll have a better chance of obtaining a more natural and efficient forefoot running gait. So essentially, how should you go about learning forefoot running using your intuition? First off, you want to make sure you know the basics of forefoot running, which is landing low, not high on the balls of your feet, bend both your knees to soften your footfall, and run a little faster than your normal pace. As for the rest of your mechanics, let your intuition, which is the same thing as listening to your body, guide you to achieve comfort. Just always remember, forefoot running is about being comfortable. And this is why many East African runners look very efficient and effortless. For example, if you're familiar with Lynette Masai, who's a distance runner from Kenya, these runners in particular grew up running barefoot. And barefoot running allowed for earlier adaptations of the forefoot running technique. Therefore, much of their forefoot running technique was learned based on intuition in response to the physical world. In adulthood, as elites, less time is spent controlling mechanics because they already learned the proper biomechanics while running barefoot during their childhood. So now more time is spent focusing on relaxing to conserve energy. Overall, the best way to revive your forefoot running technique is by monitoring the level of comfort and to be aware of the factors that disrupts your physical level of comfort which could be running too slow or not relaxing your ankle knee or hip joints etc so that's my little forefoot running tip for today and if you want to learn more about forefoot running uh, forefoot running tips please visit my blog, runforefoot.com, and I'll see you soon. Bye.